property's 1993. It's a little bit older. Um, I just sitting out front. It looks like it's been updated a little bit. I uh, can see some minor issues with the roof. I don't know. Let's see what we're going to go find. Let's go check it out. Okay, I just finished the first walk through the property and I noticed there were several water stains on the interior of the structure. Whenever I see water stains like this, I either know that I'm going to run into prior roof repairs or I have I always like to get my feet on the roof so I can physically touch the shingles. On this one, I had several issues. I had exposed fasteners, shingles lifting, poorly installed shingles against the wall. I had uh, flue damage. I have different types of shingles where they did a prior repair. Sometimes that voids the manufacturer warranty. I am going to talk to Matt Brewster. He's my roofer friend that I always refer. We bounce ideas back off on him other so I'll throw his comments below if you have any roofing questions you always want to reach out to him and he'll give you a better assessment of what you're about to call out or if you're a buyer and you run into something but anyways uh, let me show you some of those items that I found and then we can kind of go from there and we'll move on to the exterior of the wall some brain wheel damage right here from the, from the tree rubbing against the shingles we have some shingle damage here from whenever the tree used to touch the roof and we actually have an exposed fastener. This will lead to a roof leak in the future. But we have some more tree related damage too on the ridge here. Another common call out for our buyers is we let them know the condition of the driveway. You can see that this is cracked. Some people this is I think this is related to foundation issues, but it's not. Coming around the corner, I noticed there was a small crack in the slab right here. Then I started noticing there were several patches around the structure. So right here, and then a few feet down right here, and then a few feet down right here. Normally, this is all related to foundation repair. So I asked the homeowner how long ago this happened, and he let me know it was only a few months old. So the foundation is performing adequately today. Copper is no longer allowed to transport gas. We have a new AC unit outside. It's a 2014 and I always like to check the Freon which has 410A Freon. Then you want to go in the attic and make sure that the attic coils match the outside condenser Freon. Head around the corner I noticed there was a unique bow around the end of the siding. I found out later that this siding tends to do that when there's a, an excessive amount of water penetration. And the water penetration comes from points like this and around like the top of the panel box and you can see how these panel boxes are sitting sideways and loose. This is a lot of defects from water. The rust in the cabinet comes from water too as well. You can even see underneath the service meter it's pulled loose too. You want your house to be 100% watertight to help prevent any damage to the structure. Another common call out is actually the fence. Fences aren't you know, underneath a normal trek inspection, but we go ahead and let the client know that it's in poor shape to help let them know what they're purchasing. We had rust in the HVAC pan indicating that there's previous leaks. We have air leaks, that's the mold that you see, a capped secondary drain line, and then also they mitigated that by putting a float switch to help prevent any water damage. Another common call out is rodent damage. This is not related to a trek inspection. We do this to help let the clients know that we saw rodents, but from my understanding they like to chew on the refrigeration lines and the drain lines trying to get to the moisture behind there. Again, I'm not a rodent inspector. It's a whole separate license, a whole separate field. I'm just kind of going off what I see on an average day basis. Another common call out is broken outlets. We also have water penetration around some of the windows, water underneath sinks where the plumbing is leaking, loose toilets. Another find always are the loose fans. Always find loose fans. I know that video is a little bit different. Uh, it was because there was a lot of people inside and I didn't really want to bother them while I was shooting the video. So I just did some voiceovers. But uh, that pretty much concludes property. I'd actually say that's actually close to average maybe <laughs> I don't know every property is different but uh, that's Chris with a action if you have any home inspection questions please give us a call and always please like and share the videos thanks guys bye